Hi everybody, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is a New Year's Eve, 2024 on the horizon. I'm having a little drink, a little bit of rum and coke. It's early in the evening. It's about six, what is it? 6.37 as I'm recording this. So uh, I'm having my drink, probably my only drink tonight. I don't know. A little rum and coke, Diet Coke. Caffeine-free diet. Okay. <laughs> so, Happy New Year to you all and a good 2024. Uh, yeah, what am I going to say about New Year's? I guess I'm not going to wax all philosophical. And I thought about doing like a, you know, Flaneur pondering New Year's Eve thing. And then I thought, you know, really? No, I don't have that much to say about it. It was a good year. I'm thankful I experienced it, and it was great. Highlights, uh, you know, a lot of highlights, a lot of good things. Um, not the least of which is I qualified to start collecting Social Security this year. So early, you know, what, 62, but I'm doing it because why not? So I'm happy about that. Uh, and I think, you know, only way to go is forward, whether you like it or not. So let's go forward and welcome in the new year. And it's time for candle empties. I'm going to do my candle and wax empties for the month of December. I might as well do something constructive this evening. Um, you might start hearing fireworks. I don't know. They've already started. I've started. Waikiki isn't usually too bad for it. Some of the neighborhoods in Honolulu, it's horrific. Like even now, I couldn't really be doing a video because there would be so many fireworks going off. They're illegal, but they're still all over the place. Um, but they do have a show, a big, big fireworks show at midnight off of Waikiki. And um, so, you know, Waikiki itself doesn't have a, too much, but you might hear some. So... Sorry about that, but I am doing it kind of early here. Um, I would probably go to bed early. I'm, I gotta work tomorrow, not early, but I have to work, but I don't, you know, it's kind of impossible, right? To go to sleep early on this, unless you knock yourself out so much, you can sleep through fireworks and whatever, but I usually can't, so I just, but I'm not gonna go out. I don't really like, um, yeah, I'm a little weird that way. I don't like a lot of crowds. I mean, sometimes I know there's events and things where you just have to deal with it, but if I can, if I don't have to be someplace that's super crowded, um, I'm usually not going to be, and I don't have a real attraction to fireworks either. Um, I mean, they're pretty, but I don't like to be around people setting off fireworks. It just kind of freaks me out a little bit. And um, as far as seeing the big displays, we have fireworks every Friday in Waikiki. Friday evening, so I don't really need to just go to, I guess it's going to be a big display, but what, I mean, who knows? Maybe, I don't know. You know, I live two blocks from the beach, so maybe I will decide to walk down and watch it at the last minute. I don't know, but probably not. Anyway, what we're here for is candle empties, wax empties for the month of December. Didn't go through a, a great amount. It did, certainly didn't get through everything I thought I was going to get through, and, um, I got through more melts, really, than through candles. But anyway, let's uh, let's start, shall we? I went through this Yankee Candle uh, melts clamshell of uh, Holiday Hearth. I mean, this is a nice sort of traditional type of Christmassy scent, sort of. I mean, it's a wreath little bit of pine action not super piney a little bit of pine action i'm getting a little bit i don't know the notes on this at all so i'm just guessing from what i i felt like a little bit of a mild sort of cranberry-esque berry something kind of mildly molly mold berry cider or something um add a bit of that warmth a bit of that cashmere feel to it I think. I mean, I guess it isn't really super Christmassy. 
but it's kind of warm. It's a nice warm scent. Holiday hearth. Yeah, did I say wreath? I don't know. Now this one is definitely more of a traditional Christmas scent. Just like Christmas from Better Homes and Gardens. Went through all of this. Oh, this one, by the way, um, not super strong. I mean, I would say like a four. Mm. This one, I can't really smell it in here anymore, but it was kind of nice. Uh, it was, uh, again, I just sort of like what you're looking at here. You get this, this sort of spice element to this, whether it's just, uh, you know, a cinnamon and the clove spice type of thing. Not super, super spicy, uh, but definitely there. Uh, this one probably stronger than the Holiday Hearth from Yankee, like a five or a six. It was enjoyable. Um, this one, I, I don't know. I carried this over from the previous month, and I thought, well, I am going to melt this darn thing. Uh, it's candy cane ice cream. Uh, I think that's essentially not what the scent is. I think this is kind of deceptive. Because I just really didn't get, I didn't get candy cane. I didn't get ice cream from this really at all upon melting it. It is like butterscotch, really, or like a brown sugar sort of thing. It's not a bad scent. I mean, it's just not even remotely what their, I don't know what the description is. Um, this is Sensationals. There's no actual scent notes on it. Uh, but, I mean, candy cane ice cream, and that's what they're showing you. That's not even remotely what this is. This is like a butterscotch brown sugar. I, maybe it's the wrong thing. I don't know. Maybe I got a defective. Maybe that's why I got it on a sale. You know, maybe it was cleared out because it's the wrong thing in there. I don't know. It certainly, it was not candy cane ice cream. It was also pretty strong. It was about a seven, oddly. It was the strongest one of the lot, I think. Uh, then I also, this also I think was carried over from the previous month, uh, Woodwick Wood Smoke. This is one I definitely blended with a lot of the other things, candles I had going on. Kind of a blender scent for me, really. Um, this one is a, like a gray, grayish wax, and it is just kind of your standard smoky, wood. I wouldn't, wood, I mean, I don't know, burning wood, certainly not like wood, like being in a wood cabin or something, but like you're burning wood, smoky fire, that's, that's what I get from it, fireplace, and it was nice. I don't know on its own that I'm that crazy about the scent, but it was kind of nice to blend with uh, some of the other things that were going on. I did frequently this month actually was not really a purist and I would quite often have like a cube of one thing and a cube of something else together and kind of throw them together. I don't do that a lot with melts. I mean, I typically have a candle melting and then other wax melts going, but I don't necessarily mix the melts a lot, but um, I kind of did this month. Now let's talk about the candles. Um, oh, wait, I have uh, I have one wax melt that I'll come back to, but uh, let's talk about the candles. This was new. I just got this recently and I wanted really wanted to go ahead and do it. I had the idea that wouldn't it be great to melt these together? Uh, Martha Stewart Christmas Brunch, which shows you like candy cane and marshmallow -y sort of stuff. And I thought, well, these would be great together, but that turned out not to be the case because candy cane ice cream did not smell like candy cane ice cream. But this one, however, this was $9.99 at Marshall's. Uh, I don't think this has scent notes on it either. And as you'll notice, I never ever look scent notes up. I'm sort of like, I just... I mean, I, the, if they're there, I'll read them, but otherwise I just want to smell it, you know? Um, this one, I melted these, by the way, if you don't know, I don't burn candles in my apartment. I used to, but our lease this last year disallows us to burn candles, so I do use 
a candle, uh, I have a candle lamp, and I have a candle, um, you know, like hot plate thing. So I use those and it's fine. This one, of course, I was pouring out wax. Obviously, you have to do that if you're just melting the wax every so often. This one was decent. Um, I would like for it to have been a bit stronger. It started out really strong, right? The first few times I melted it, very strong. And then it just kind of tapered off as I went along. Christmas brunch, well, I would say that's a descriptive, uh, deceptive name, but not really because of the picture they show you is what it is. That's what it smells like. It's like peppermint candy canes and some sort of marshmallowy goodness going on. There's a little bit of milkiness going on. So it's sort of like, kind of like a peppermint hot chocolate without the chocolate, which is lovely because I, I'm not really a chocolate fan. So it's just like a marshmallowy candy cane hot milky drink. I liked it. I would get it again. Um, I would say, you know, like I said, it started out kind of strong and then it was sort of like a five. It was there, not amazingly strong. Uh, something a little bit different because I wasn't just feeling super, super bakery or whatever this past month, which I, I think I normally would during the Christmas season, but I just wasn't. Uh, I picked this up recently. I wanted to give this a melt during the season, cashmere plum. Uh, it's from Natural by Aroma Light. Again, nothing has notes on it, but uh, scent notes. Very nice. I mean, I would say it's kind of in the Bath and Body Works Dark Kiss range. It's definitely not a dupe, but I think the Dark Kiss has some plum in it, and it gives me a little bit of that feeling. It's just... Maybe like a plum and something warm, a little amberish, well, cashmere, you know, okay, cashmere. Yeah, I mean, that's it. It's, I, this one wasn't very strong, unfortunately. I did like the scent, but it wasn't terribly strong. I don't know if it would be better burning than melting, usually not. I think it's the other way around. So probably burning this, it wouldn't really have been much of anything, uh, but just melting it, I would say it was a five. It wasn't four or five. Um, would have been nice for it to be a lot stronger. Uh, something that I'm finishing up tonight, this will probably be the last night I melt this, and it was on the melter, so it's not hot, but it's still liquid. <laughs> because I'm going to put it back on as soon as I'm done with this. It's a Bath & Body Works candle, White Barn. Cinnamon sugared pecans. This is very nice. Um, I can't turn it over to read the scent notes, so. But, I mean, I think you can figure it out. Cinnamon, yes. Not super, super strong cinnamon, but really like when you get those nuts that are like cinnamon sugar, those hot uh, nuts at those vendor places um, that sell that. It's kind of like that sort of a light sugariness on it, light cinnamon sugariness on it. And then they're like the roasted uh, pecan scent, roasted nuts. I don't know if this is necessarily pecan. It's just sort of like a g generic nut to me. Maybe I just don't know my nut scents very well. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Loved this one. Really liked this one. Uh, this gave me a nice little warm Christmassy feeling without being overly, like there's no bakery. It's not, there's no like bread note or, you know, cinnamon roll note or pie note or anything like that. It is just like lightly sugared, roasted pecans and nice and stronger this one probably like a seven it's pretty good i would love for it to be stronger than this even but it has uh performed pretty well and like i said i might get another day maybe tomorrow night i don't know out of it we'll see or tomorrow well i'm working tomorrow daytime but yeah tomorrow evening maybe i might get another another day out of it but it's, it's been a good one. I liked this one. However, 
not my favorite of the month. Yeah. You know, I usually like to do a candle or melt of the month. I do have one. Actually, I have two. And those of you who know my tastes will not be surprised at what it is. Um, and I tie them. I'm giving them a tie. One is a candle, one is a melt. The candle, not a shocker to those of you who know me, uh, is the uh, Bath and Body Works Fresh Balsam. I mean, it's a classic. I do, this, my package got messed up when I bought it. I don't know how I did that or if it, I bought it that way, just didn't realize it. I don't know, but it's a candy cane, you know, um, ribbon candy, whatever, green ribbon candy like design. It's attractive. This is like one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works of all time. Every year I have to have fresh balsam <coughs> or some combination. Like they're, they're doing, you know, balsam and whatever and this and that and balsam and whatever. But some sort of balsam from uh, Bath and Body Works. I have to melt, burn every winter season and then maybe other times too, but at least one. Uh, woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, cedar wood yada 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 this is it's pine man it's like it's like when you go christmas shopping christmas tree shopping and you go in those underneath those tents and they have like 300 christmas trees in there and you walk underneath the tent and go whoa that's amazing that is what this candle is to me always it's a punch it's like it's a nine it's always strong and this year no disappointment very strong Loved it from beginning to end. Still maybe a little bit of scent, or I could just, maybe if I just leave it sitting out a little more, I'll get a little more from it. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I this is such a winner for me, Fresh Balsam. The other one I'm gonna tie it with, scent not a surprise, but I didn't know. Um, this is a value pack from Better Homes and Gardens, Fresh Cut Frasier, um, something I picked up on a sale. This also, wow, I mean, there's pine scents out there and I love pine scents. This is a good pine scent, but it also was mega strong. I did not melt these together at the same time, separate. I did them, you know, when other things are going on and whatever else was going on sort of disappeared because this, I mean, I have these melting tonight too, the last of these that I have. Um, this evening. Oh man, it's just that beautiful fresh pine scent and it's super strong and I I can't tell you how much I love that to put a strong pine scent on and you it starts to fill the apartment and I mean it's very Christmassy but it's just it's very homey. I don't know. I I love a good pine scent. So I am actually going to tie these two because honestly you know, as you hear from these reviewers, some of these candles I had were, you know, a little bit so-so this month. I think kind of in that five range where you're kind of like, ah, okay, whatever. And they were all right. But these gave me all the satisfaction and all the candle melting, wax melting joy of the season <laughs> this year. It came from these two right here. Um, sugar cinnamon pecans was nice also but these ones are really like were amazing and i love them so much and they gave me all christmas happiness this month so thank you thank you for uh those yeah that's it so i'm enjoying watching your uh, candle reviews for december how things went for you and uh, if you do a, a schedule, I love watching the, the schedules of what you're planning on melting. Uh, I didn't get through everything. I never get through everything I had planned, but uh, I'm going to pick out some things here and I will have my burning schedule for January up within a few days. And, you know, it may be a real departure. I'm, I'm feeling like I may just really leave all holiday-ness behind and uh, 
uh, really go rogue in January. <laughs> we'll see. I'm thinking maybe I will. We'll see what I pick out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a safe uh, New Year's celebration. If you are going to celebrate or going out, please drive carefully. I'm not going anywhere. Like I said, if I do anything, I will walk two blocks to the beach and watch the fireworks at midnight. But I, I probably won't do that. I don't know. I mean, I don't have to work until 1030 tomorrow. So maybe I will. I don't know. But I just don't care about them that much. I'm not a Scrooge. I mean, I love the holidays, but uh, yeah. New Year's Eve maybe is not one of the big ones as far as going out and with a lot of people. It's a little party. I've done that before. That's nice having a gathering, but that's not happening this year. So that's fine. I'm not going to do it. All right. <laughs> Enough already. Thank you guys and have a happy 2024. All good things coming, hopefully, and whatever isn't good. Um, you know, what's the saying? Makes you stronger. Something like that. <laughs>